Smooth. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> First fish of the trip. Yeah. Not a bad start. That one's definitely not a bad start. One and one. Yeah. Two in a row. Is it swears? <laughs> Pretty windy out here. Just barbecue some steak for dinner. Got some Uncle Ben's rice cooking. Spending two nights up here. It's night one. Everybody's having a good time, aren't they? Yeah! Oh yeah. <laughs> some of us more than others, but you know, <laughs> the it's all good. It's kicking in. It's yes. about that time. It's uh, moonshine o'clock. Yep. Water Welcome. boiling up for rice. Welcome to dinner with. <laughs> How could life be any better right now? Ice fishing on Lake Sim, frozen Lake Simcoe. And we're eating steak for dinner. Minnows for bait. The beers keep it cold down there. Best way to keep it cold. <laughs> Ryan's got his sonar working. I haven't been marking too many fish. It's been pretty slow. Probably the slowest I've ever ice fished ever. Got one right now. Oh, you getting a little bite there? It's getting top. It's been a good time though. Good, good company. Best company. Best company. <laughs> Mikey here. You got a fishy. Fit, yeah. Also known as Fishy. Lockaroo. Yeah, Lockaroo. Not Lock. Lockaroo. Lockaroo. Hibba. Ryan. Hibba. Hibby. <laughs> Chris here. So yeah, we got that furnace going on and they give us a burner. Floyd Hales is who, who hooks us up here. The tables are all collapsible, so it gives us lots of room to fish. Uh, Frenchie. Frenchie's the guy who hooks us up. Keeps us full of minnows. Get him. Oh, he's biting. Get him. Get him. Oh, you missed it. There he is. Set it. There. There it is. There you go. Get some action here. Good time. Oh, you oh, missed, you missed him. him. Oh, lock it in. Uh, all right. I'll take So I'm outside now. Our first barbecue didn't work. The burner had rusted out and fallen out of it. But we got our second one. We just got three nice burners. We cooked up some really nice steak last night. Tonight we'll cook up some stuffed chicken. We're gonna fry some fish up that we caught earlier. Like I said, has, hasn't been great out here, but we, we have caught fish. We're pretty full in there. Caught probably twice as many, twice as many non-keepers. But it's been a really good trip overall. This is our last day here. Tomorrow, Sunday is our last, last day, but Saturday's our last full day. We got one more night. Plan on watching the Leafs game tonight. Oh, did you get them? Nope. <laughs> Mike's just headed out. Wish I had some bloodworms. Yeah, they are. They're feeding on bloodworms right now. So where's beavers in from here? Um, back here somewhere. That's uh, our uh, unheated porta potty. Uh, Beaverton's back here somewhere. I'm not sure. Yeah, wait. Back here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the other side of the lake. Um, way up by Aurelia, up in the north, which is, where are we here? Probably way back here somewhere, is open water. That's the island. And Barry is way, probably.
probably over here. It's open water, but just the way the wind blows in, we end up uh, getting the ice. We're over a foot. What are we, 13, 14 inches? Is it? Uh, about 15, ice. 15 inches, yeah. So we got some other buddies hanging out on the hood over here. They're going to come over and check things out. They're going to get dinner rolling and come over and watch the Leaf game with us as well. So. Yeah, they've. Uh, this is the perch grounds is where they've got us on. The, the Lakers are way, way, way out there. But we're in it for perch. Way out there, Cole? Way out there. Way, way out there. So, but yeah, we're in between the mainland and the, and the island. What island is that? Yeah. There's some cottages on it anyways. Big island. You can see it there. Anyways, we'll touch base later. These guys here that just came in, that must be the day trippers. Yeah, I mean, because their huts are probably half the size of ours. Ours are, ours are massive. Yeah, where's their jeep? Oh, they took off in their jeep. Maybe they'll be back in the morning. See, we got our Goal Zero solar panels here for charging all our electronics, cell phones, we'll watch a game tonight, the barbecue, the heater. We got another one over here. And then we've got interior lights, which Floyd Hills has hooked us up with. That's a uh, solar panel, and they got a little battery. So. Hey. Oh, you guys got a good little bunch going there, eh? Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. So there's the lights up top, oh, carbon on. dioxide detector. You want to come in and have fun? Uh, uh, battery down there. Beer. Beer. Everything charged up. They took really good care of us. Yeah, nice. This one's nice. Appetizers out here on the ice. You can try some barbecued dill pickles and some, some pepperettes. We already know the pepperettes are good. Maybe those things sizzle. Nobody's ever had barbecued pickles before, so we'll see if these turn out as well as I think they're going to turn out. They don't have to be very long, just enough to warm them up. All right, a second ago. I had gone yeah, outside yeah, it's right there, it's right there. to start the barbecue, and my rod was sitting there. I came in, and it went down that hole. However, my good buddy Mike here. Oh, yeah, yeah buddy. Yeah, fish. Now I might have a fish on. It might might have it on here. All right, let's see if we set this up here. I'd be even luckier if I actually caught a fish. All right. What would be real like if you saw a fish on? Especially considering how your rod back it after just went all the way down. It was oh. way down there. <laughs> Alright. That's hilarious. That's why you always gotta watch your, your rod there, ladies. <laughs> Zebra mussels. Zebra mussels pulled that down. Oh no. That, when it went down and the fish Look let go, that's what it probably pulled down. Look at that. That's Invasive hilarious. species. Barbecued pepperette and pickle spears. Are they good? No. I haven't tried them yet. Any good? What? No. 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 Not be better if they're deep fried. All right. Listen, to this guy. As he gobbles them up and licks, <laughs> licks, his, licks fingers. his fingers. That's the That's the best damn pickle I've had. Nom 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 nom. All right. <laughs> <laughs> It's that time of the day, everybody's packing up, headed home. All the day, the day use guys. Doing an excellent job frying them up. 
No. What is she got? <laughs> what do you got going? Oh, is that a Batman patty? She go. She go. <laughs> oh. Where'd she go? Obliterated. <laughs> she disintegrated. Go. Have to watch the Leafs meet up on Boston tonight. Pretty awesome. Out here ice fishing. <laughs> I think we'll even watch the late game. It was a good game. We're going to do some, some tip videos this morning for ice fishing. Number one tip, Ryan. What do you do first thing in the morning? Bait your hook. That's right. Get it in the water. Look how well it paid off. <laughs> Number two tip is to get the coffee boiling. We're not even dressed yet. We're getting, getting fish. That's one big advantage of coming out here. No point in sleeping overnight if you're not going to get your, your line in the water first thing in the morning. Definitely got a few more tips. The aerator with several D batteries. How many have you gone through so far at this trip? Just the two. Just two? Two sets. Mind you, one night we didn't have them on. So. the second set. Yeah, I should probably have at least a set per day for 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, rod, rod holders are pretty key. These collapsible ones are really, really nice. Uh, lots of stuff to cook with. Uh, Ryan's got a really nice setup for his sonar. He's got a portable sonar that goes in the water, but he's got the clip here. And he puts his cell phone in, so he can just sit there and wa watch it. With the ladies calling us too and FaceTime on it. Yeah. Uh, lots of battery power. Dual zero solar panels in the windows. So they just happen to fit. And these uh, battery banks keep everything charged up. Lots and lots of hooks. We brought several hooks so that we could uh, keep all our stuff hung up, jackets, and we're not tripping over them the whole time. I don't know, what other tips would you give uh, a first timer out here? Keep an eye on your rod. Keep an eye on your rod. I lost one, well, we <laughs> temporarily lost a rod down the hole. Big water, big jugs of water. Really, it's not like camping, it's more like car camping. You just you're not carrying anything any far distances. You're just 20 feet from the sled to the hut. So a lot of people try to pack light. You don't really need to. Lots of room under the benches for stuff. Bring a cooler just to keep your stuff from freezing. Minus 10, minus 15 that one night. First night we were here, nothing froze. It just stayed cold and cooler. The fish don't need anywhere fancy to live when they're done we're catching them. Last day here, Sunday morning, and the weather has come in pretty heavy. Big snow squall, or maybe just a system. Well, shore is supposed to be out here somewhere, but uh, obviously can't see it. But we're all GPS tracked here, so they won't have any problem finding us whatsoever. So I'm gonna get going, get get some fishing in before. Uh, before they come and pick us up. Nice. That's the biggest fish of the trip. Look at that thing. <laughs> Don't drop them. Oh. Yeah, boys, they're fighting. They're coming. Rule number three, four, five, and six. Close the hatch when you caught a big fish. <laughs> Watch his eyes. Ryan frying up breakfast for us. Caramelizing some onions, and we're gonna get some scrambled eggs going. The most important thing is the bacon. Come over here with another tip. Super maggot. Well, you can put pliers on. You can put big pliers on those super magnets, actually. And when you get a bite, your pliers aren't far away, and you can put them right back up without worrying about them falling in the hole. Or those things. Yeah. See that? Two pliers on yeah, that two one. pliers in that one. Yeah, those super magnets you can get. Good job over there, bud. The orange juice got a little cold last night, she's frozen up, so we're using the, the stove pipe to heat it up. Last morning? Mm. Pretty good trip to be on, eh, boys? Especially when we got Chef Ryan over here cooking up eggs every morning. Getting out of dishes, dude. Getting out of dishes, dude. <laughs> I'm hoping to get out a little bit of dishes duty. I did the nasty ones from last night, first thing this morning in the cold. But I'm sure I'll help out for the, the other ones. I'm hoping to catch some more fish. Team effort here.
<laughs> I'll stick lock in there. Oh, right. 